Carol, this Heart Health Month, every Monday, we're going to be diving into what you need to know to stay healthy. This morning, Dr. Cyrus Haddadi of MedStar Health is here to share how it's just not the same old procedures anymore, particularly when it comes to pacemakers. Thank you for coming in. Yes, thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here for American Heart Month. Well, I'm excited for you to be here and for you to enlighten us. And the first question I have for you is, for people that don't know, what exactly does a pacemaker do and how many people are get pacemakers a year or walking around with pacemakers? That is a fantastic question. And believe it or not, 200,000 Americans a year get wow. pacemakers. And a pacemaker is a cardiac device that treats slow or irregular heart rhythms. So there's many, many people who have benefited from these pacemakers. But we now have a new revolutionary pacemaker that has all the advantages of the old with none of the disadvantages. And I'm that, very excited to talk to you about it today. Yeah, it is pretty exciting. So for people that don't know, this is like your traditional pacemaker that's what, been around since the, the late 50s? 1950s, was when the first one? 1950s, yeah. believe it or not. Okay, and so how does it work? Like, tell me about the old one. Obviously, it, it saves lives, but it comes with risks. Absolutely. So the way that these old-fashioned pacemakers work is... Under anesthesia, your surgeon will make a small incision here, mm -hmm. and then these wires are tunneled through your blood vessels down into your heart. So disadvantages here are you can't go out afterwards and play golf. The swing could pull these wires out of place. Really? So there okay. are restrictions. And of course, every day that you wake up, you see a scar on your chest. Sure. And so Aesthesis and cosmesis are important for our patients. Absolutely. And I would also think, like, with the wires going in, there's risk of infection Absolutely. that's there. It's, it's, it's pretty invasive. Yeah. So a surprising number of people will develop complications in the first few years, mostly from the presence of these long wires in the bloodstream. They can be fractured inadvertently or they can become infected. Mm -hmm. So the advantage of this new leadless pacemaker, which was one of Time Magazine's top inventions for the year 2023, wow. is that there are no wires. There's no leads. It's totally self-contained. Okay, so I mean, it almost looks like a teeny tiny battery. It's actually smaller than a AAA battery. So there are two individual components. Okay. Each of them is tiny, but when they're placed directly inside the heart with no scar on your chest, no bump under your skin, and no wires, they're able to communicate with one another to keep your heart in rhythm. That is fascinating. Okay, so kind of give me, obviously, so then you don't have the in risk of infection from the leads, or Absolutely. you don't have the pulling it out when you're playing golf. Like, you could Absolutely. play golf with this. You could go home and play golf. You could have the best drive of your life, and <laughs> your there are no could restrictions. Get better. <laughs> It could get now, we can't advertise that, right, but, yeah. you know, the pacemaker could make your golf This is better. pretty fascinating. So how, like, how long is the procedure? What's the recovery time? That is a great question. For now, the procedure is only available at MedStar Washington Hospital Center. It takes about an hour, and the recovery time is just two hours of bed rest afterwards. You could go home the same day. It's an outpatient surgery. It's an outpatient procedure. Okay, and when you say it's only available at MedStar, do you mean like only available in our area at MedStar or only available at MedStar? In our area. In our area. MedStar has such a great track record of safety with these leadless pacemaker procedures that between New York and Florida, for now we are the only hospital offering this. That is amazing. We're so how many of these how many of these have gone in already? About two dozen have gone in already, supplemented by over a hundred of the previous generation single device. I got gotcha. you. So, so this is a new and improved of this device already? That's correct. I got gotcha. you. And we're very proud of it. And we'd I, love to talk to you more about it anytime. And so can you request this? Like you need to find obviously a surgeon that can do this? Well, I think if you have symptoms of a slow heart rhythm and mm -hmm. you talk to your doctor and they recommend a pacemaker, it really behooves you to advocate for what I feel is the best. This is what I would want for my mom. Yeah, that's what you'd want for you. Yeah, right? absolutely. And, and, and so there's 12 out there. Have we seen any complaint or 12 that you all have done about now? Has there been any complications from Not it or a any? Single no one. downsides at all? No downsides. And then how long does it last? Like, is, do you have to have this? replaced at some point 10 years down the road? That is a great question. And in fact, the battery life on average is a little bit better than the old fashioned pacemakers. And it's about eight to 12 years, which we're very proud of. Yeah, eight to 12 years, and then you could up for a new one, right? Yeah. You come in and we take the old one out and put a brand new one in. Outpatient surgery. Outpatient procedure. It'll Amazing. probably be 
even easier in the future. Yeah, the, in the time that you have it, it'll be even easier yeah. the next time around. Yeah. Dr. Haradi, this is just fascinating. Thank fascinating. You. Thank you so much. Thank you really, so much. really appreciate your knowledge this morning and all that's, of course, going on at MedStar Health. There's everything you need to know to be updated and learn more about the innovative pacemakers that they are putting in people now. And this is just our first Monday of Heart Health Month, Steve. Next week, we're going to talk more specifically about men and heart health. It's pretty fascinating stuff yeah. and groundbreaking Great. as well. Thanks, Holly.